Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is going to be my second video review from the same band that I might add uh, off the album War by Demon Hunter. The word I would use to describe this album is invigorating. It's full of energy, it's full of heart, it's full of gusto, and it really punches home that uh, high energy feel that you want from a heavy album. In some parts of the album, you really hear the guitars scream and growl and howl, and it's really fun to listen to. It seems Demon Hunter has really done something special with tracks 3 on both Peace and War. I said Wellness really seemed like, a sp like it was a special song upon first hearing it, and that trend continues with Close Enough. Even though the album had just gotten started, Close Enough seems to be the track that pulls me in the most. There's a couple of things that I want to point out about this track, Close Enough. The first is that I really like the interplay that they make uh, between Ryan singing and um, the rhythm guitar going back and forth, switching back and forth between being heavy and being melodic. It's very cool. It, it kind of has this alternating effect where the other one's doing the other thing and they kind of go back and forth with this and it's really neat. The other thing that I want to point out about this song close enough is that the chugs that they have from the chug 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 the chugs that they have in this song is like it's pretty complicated. I had to listen to it more than once to really get uh, the rhythm of it. But once I did, it's like, yeah, this is this is really cool. So close enough is my favorite song off the album. My second favorite song off the album is No Place For You Here. It's the most relentless track off the album, and really reminds me of something off Extremist. Leave Me Alone is probably the most complex track off the album. Uh, it messes around with different elements, uh, like Loneliness does, the track 3 from Peace. The drums really shine on this album. Uh, there's enough complexity there to spend time trying to nail down, uh, but it's also steady enough that it's still really enjoyable to listen to. Overall, I would say both these albums are superb albums. They are both really, really top-notch stuff. Um, they both really bring it home. Thanks for watching, everyone. This has been my second uh, video review uh, at all, and I hope you like it. Thanks for watching. Bye.